tread. You have to shuffle in. Yeah, we'll sort that out just without remaining Barb. I need someone to be watching him. Right. I'm not here to judge you, mate, but I can't. I haven't got any. We're in the nowhere at the moment, so. Right, we'll sort it. Let's get you get you rolling, all right, and get you there. They were a family surrounded by love, ripped apart by one man. 26-year-old Bethany Vincent was a caring mother, her son DJ, a nine-year-old boy who loved football. They were both murdered at their home by Daniel Bolton. Motivated by his hatred for DJ's autism, the judge said, a hatred he unleashed on his former girlfriend and her little boy. Every murder is difficult. There's, a, there's always a victim and there's always a family, so that they are always difficult. This one has been the most emotive one I have worked on. In May last year, Bolton walked for hours to confront Bethany, who'd ended their relationship. He broke into their home and within four minutes, he stabbed Bethany nine times, then went upstairs and stabbed DJ at least a dozen times. After the attack, Bolton hid from police. The next day, though, he was seen running through nearby farms. During the police hunt, he stabbed an off-duty officer trying to detain him, but he was tasered and arrested. Evil and manipulative, the judge described him as, someone who obsessed over Bethany, who controlled and eventually took her life, four days before she was due to move to a secret location to get away from him. He's been sentenced to life in prison with a minimum of 40 years. For Bethany and DJ's family, though, no sentence will ever be enough.